I'll tell you what I don't feel like. Welcome back, friends. Hi. You doing all right over there in Pixel Town? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I find odd, Paul? What's that? Uh, Microsoft 365 Home Family, whatever they're calling it this week, doesn't include Windows 10 license. Yeah, I... Right. I, I mean, mean, you don't really need it. Like, I, I understand that, like, most people will never, ever need it. So, yeah. and they're not losing money by including it. It'd just be a nice little, like, oh, yeah, you get a Windows 10 entitlement, too. I think there's a... Uh, yeah, the problem with that is, like, you could get a, like, one-year subscription, 69 bucks, mm -hmm. get a free copy of Windows 10. What are they going to do, expire it? Can you imagine the outrage if Microsoft built something into Windows 10 that they could do that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the deal with, um, maybe it's not obvious, the deal with Microsoft 365 commercial is what you get as a license for Windows mm -hmm. 7 Enterprise, which comes with additional rights and capabilities over pro or whatever. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Do you give, give away like pro? Yeah. You know, know. if they already have it, and then you have people like, well, I already have pro in my computer. Can I give this to someone else? Plus, you know, you get rights across like multiple computers. I mean, you just get this. this and shoot down my good ideas. <laughs> no, I, I no, I, I, yeah, you're right though. I, I think about this stuff. Like I, I, I agree. Like it'd be kind of interesting, but mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of not so interesting thing. 0.0% people shocked at this. Ignite's not <laughs> happening, which is... Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that's obvious, yeah. I mean, it could be, unless under it's under my own intentions, well, I guess all of it's under my own intentions. Like, I may not travel at all this year. I know, me too. Because we're not going to build? Well, I mean, look, uh, I, the way I'll put it is I... I may not travel internationally this year. Like that would be a first in mm -hmm. almost not 20 years, but a long time. I don't know, whatever that yeah. is, 15 years. I don't know. But um, I, I don't know if I've talked to you about this bargaining thing yet. You know, this I, this thing we all go through, uh, the, bar, the self bargaining, the bargaining mm -hmm. with God, you know, kind of thing. It's like, look, if, if you could just end this thing, I don't care about traveling. I just want my family to be safe. You know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, reduced expectations. Like what I'd like to see happen this year is my daughter be able to go to, you know, to school. Sure. And I'd like to be able to, I'd like to be able to travel. Like this is some, something we've intended to do since we moved here and haven't done much of is visit surrounding states and, mm -hmm. you know, go see parts of Kentucky and Tennessee and North Carolina and whatever, I noticed whatever Ohio else. And, wasn't in there. South, Brad. Uh, it's going to be south. I mean, technically, we're... Ohio is adjacent. Like, well, I'm south of you. Like, are you? Yeah, if you're up near New York, oh, I... like, it's I'm not... up there in New York. I don't think you are south of me, but I'll, okay, I, I would say that you're roughly parallel to me. Um, we're going to find out. But I, I suspect you're actually a little bit north of me, but it doesn't matter. Really? Um, the places we're considering are, you know, for the future and thinking about our, our South, I guess. Uh, let's put it that way. Hold on. Okay. We'll wait while you look this up on a map. I'm trying to figure out how to spell a mass. <laughs> it, okay. I'm not technically. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you know, you know. I, I, well, while we move on to the next topic, I'm going to look this up. Uh, what else was going on? So they canceled that. They canceled... Oh, the, the new Power Toys app, 0 0.16, is out, which actually has some decent mm -hmm. little things. So they're bringing what's going to look very similar to the Spotlight Search in Windows... Or Windows. In Mac OS, where you kind of hit, I think it's yeah. like yep. the Mac key and then Spacebar. They're bringing that to... Not that feature, but something like that to Windows 10, and it's now included in that... Um, fancy zone it supposedly has better dual monitor support, although I cannot get it to work on mine, so I cannot confirm or deny that. And um, yeah, there's something else in there. Oh, yeah, bulk image size resizing, which is actually kind of nice. So you can take a whole bunch of images, right mouse click on them, and go to image size 
and then change the aspect ratio of all of them. You hit a little button. It doesn't destroy the initial ones. It just creates copies of them cropped to the aspect ratio that you set. So, yeah, that's actually pretty useful. Yeah, I can't. I cannot type this morning. And why am I using Bing? That's probably half my problem. <laughs> Um, I don't know what else is going on. Actually, I'm trying to trying to figure this out. You're still working on the maps thing. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to wow. get Emmaus, and he keeps coming back with UMass. Just type in Allentown. Okay, I can spell Allentown. I Allentown think. technically is a little north of me, so that won't skew things too badly. And then we will do directions. Directions. To Cincinnati. Oh my God. I believe it involves driving west for six or seven hours. Uh, well, it's a, uh, about eight hours and 31 eight minutes. Eight hours. So we are south of you. You are south of me. Yeah, not, not a ton. Maybe. I guess <sighs> it depends how much the, the globe curves in that area. Uh. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll look at this later, but, but we're still not going to Cincinnati. You, you still kind of see. <laughs> see, it's down there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit make you happy. Just, you know, kind of. It's like, you know, it's like a nice little lob of a football arc. Well, based on my many years of experience uh, with you and with podcasting with you specifically and the many discussions we've had around weather, I know that there is no weather advantage to moving to Cincinnati. Yeah, so that I can probably agree with. There's. Um... I would like to, I would investigate the tax situation. That's one of the big things I'm trying to escape here. Mm. It's kind of a problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. But it's weird because like places like uh, Washington, D.C., which is three and a half hours south of here, mm -hmm. I have personally experienced some of the hottest days of my life there <laughs> and some of the coldest. Is that in sitting in front and of a jury? It, <laughs> no, no. I mean, literally, like I was there yeah. one January, and it was it was the coldest temperatures I've ever seen uh, experienced. I mean, it was terrible. And I've spent many summers there, and um, it's the hottest, humidest. You know, it's yeah, well, it's, it's right crazy. Water, so yeah. I know, but despite it's like this mid Atlantic location, it should be like perfect climate, and it's just crazy extreme in both directions. So finding, you know, you have to look at different. I don't know. Yeah, like there's a there's a nice like elevations kind of like and crossing lines of getting good to good climate and threat of hurricanes, and you got to find where like, just, that, yes. that that risk yes. threshold is. Um, if there was a perfect place, we would all be there. That's Los Angeles. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like if that place existed on the East Coast, everyone would know about it. It, mm -hmm. it doesn't, so you have to make concessions uh, in one direction or the other, or you have to split your time, maybe. Uh, yeah. Between two, to, you know, and we'll see. Maybe we'll get there eventually. But let's see. How long is the incredible depression going to last after this mm -hmm. thing? I mean, I'll probably be ready to retire by the time I'm already 12 years in the grave. I mean, I don't know. Well, the good news is if you're uh, if you're trying to check the weather and figure out what's going to happen tomorrow because it's going to be doomy and gloomy, if you're on Android <laughs> and you're using Dark Sky, it's no longer going to work. So um, <laughs> you, you don't even have to worry about it. You can just go out the next day and look at the sky <sighs> and figure it out for yourself because... Apple bought Dark Sky and they're shutting down. Yeah, you the just Android. do, uh, you know, Siri, is it raining? Oh, no, you can't do that. You're on Android. Yeah, so it's an interesting purchase, I guess, mostly because Dark Sky is like, I guess the only thing they bought it for is like that hyper local weather feature, which is actually really good because the rest of the app is kind of bad. Like the, the radar on Dark Sky is just terrible. Yeah. Um, so. I don't understand buying something like this. Is it, are you telling me that uh, a feature of the weather app that's built into iOS is so important that we need to make an acquisition? Yeah. Here's an idea. Why don't you buy a company that knows how to arrange icons on a screen however the user wants? You know, there's something like everyone could use. Yeah. Yeah. So now, like, you know, most people can't use this. And um, I, I don't know. They bought it. So there you go. I don't know what. There you go. I yeah. know. Crazy. So that's Apple using all their dollars for good acquisitions. So, I mean, couldn't they have put that money toward COVID research, as some idiot will say? Because, I don't know. Yeah, 
I Whatever. I don't know. They bought it. So <laughs> just do it. Yeah. If you like it and you're on Android, good luck because now you're going to be finding a new one. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. You got anything else for today, Paul? Because it's um, you know, one of those jam packed days of acquisitions and not going to conferences. <laughs> yeah. The, today's today's uh, discussion on what we're not doing today. That should be that should become the new a new segment. <laughs> Things yeah. we're not doing. Where are we not, not going, going to the gym? Uh, I'm well, going to go for risk, a walk. Risk my life and go Did to the grocery store. We could all start store? sewing our own masks. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm going to turn this podcast studio into. Is just a respirator manufacturing yeah. center, just like every other Mask company. Origami with Brad and Paul. <laughs> Look, it's a swan. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>